Hi folks, today we're going to discuss advanced computer graphics on Raspberry Pi 5 and forthcoming Raspberry Pi 6. We're going to explore the options to exploit the unimaginable power of modern graphics cards, like those from AMD, NVIDIA and Intel. I know that many of you are using Raspberry Pi 5 without any kind of add-ons with an SD card. And I know that many of you will be using Raspberry Pi 6 the same way. There are also enthusiasts and advanced users like me that want to squeeze the most of any kind of Raspberry Pi. I've recently tested a number of game making tools while Broadcom's graphics core 2D graphics is relatively fast and efficient and you can easily make 2D games with tools like Game Maker. Raspberry Pi 5's BCM2712 graphics core is much too slow for realistic 3D graphics. I've done some tests with Unity Game Engine. I was only able to install it on Windows 11 virtual machine that was running on a Raspberry Pi 5 with 16GB of RAM. This is actually the only option if you want to run it on Raspberry Pi 5 because the Linux version is not made for ARM64 architecture. I've been able to start Unity Editor. I've been able to create a game project from a tutorial template, but everything was much too slow to be of any practical use. If you want to do 3D graphics, at least like on 3D modeling tools for the old PCs, uh, then it's probably a better idea to use Godot because it can install on Raspberry Pi OS directly without having to run on any kind of virtual machine. It's much faster but still too slow to be of any practical use. Maybe if you develop 2D games, but for 2D games development Game Maker is a much better choice. No wonder why there is so much effort spent to connect a proper graphics card to Raspberry Pi 5 through a PC e port. Though this is a great endeavor, I don't believe that Raspberry Pi 5 would be able, no matter what kind of graphics cards you connect to it, it to run games with complex 3D graphics fluently. I've read the specifications for recommended configurations to run Unity or Unreal game engines and it is clear that you also need much more powerful processing cores. If you are talking about Intel and AMD processors, they are way ahead compared to Raspberry Pi 5's BCM27 system on chips ARM A76 cores. However, an advanced graphics core is really not needed if you are using your Raspberry Pi 5 as a robotics controller or as an AI module. Therefore, Raspberry Pi 6 could emphasize on having much more powerful processing cores while keeping a relatively low power graphics core but also providing an option for an external graphics card. Fourth generation, four lane or even eight lane PCIe bus would enable Raspberry Pi 6 to communicate to a graphics card 20 times faster. A gaming Raspberry Pi 6 would also need a fast SSD drive, which also needs to connect to PCIe bus. Luckily, we have a great PCIe switch solution from AS Media Technologies SM2806 chip, which can serve as a four lane PCIe switch. This is a similar solution that I'm using today with my Extreme Raspberry Pi 5. There should be a PCIe extension board with a PCIe switch and a number of PCIe connectors, which would give Raspberry Pi 6 a desktop-like functionality. Additionally, Raspberry Pi 6 could have two USB 3.2 or 4.0 ports, which also enable connecting an external graphics card. Such a solution is already available today for ever more powerful mini and micro PCs. Many of such graphics cards also work on USB 3.0 port even today that connect to a classic PC through USB 3.2 or USB 4.0 or a Thunderbolt port. But there are no device drivers for Raspberry Pi 5. However, it must be noted that communication through USB 3.0 port on Raspberry Pi 5 is twice slower compared to the external PCIe port when running as Gen 3. What about software? As a matter of fact, there are a lot of game engines that are already being recompiled for ARM64 architecture. For example, Game Maker Beta works great on the Raspberry Pi OS. Godot also works great, but it prefers 2D graphics, which is not surprising because Raspberry Pi 5 is short on 3D acceleration. It does have Vulkan drivers, but this is clearly not enough. There are also tools like GDevelop that only work on Windows 11 on ARM64 architecture.
An official Windows support for Raspberry Pi 5 and forthcoming Raspberry Pi 6 would be beneficial in this case. It is much faster to run Windows on a physical machine than on a virtual machine. Currently I'm only able to run Windows 11 on a virtual machine with my extreme Raspberry Pi 5 with 16GB of RAM. The old Raspberry Pi 5 with 8GB of RAM which can run Windows 11 directly is therefore much faster. However, in some cases it may get short on RAM while doing computer graphics or AI calculations. A powerful external graphics card option and native Windows 11 support are therefore crucial factors for Raspberry Pi 6 to attract more users and to become even more successful as Raspberry Pi 5 currently is. Thank you for watching. Please press like and subscribe buttons and don't forget about the notification bell. See you in the next video. Bye.